this is like a favorite i just love how this strap is i honestly feel like it can take any outfit to the next level i currently have nothing in this bag and as you can see like me squeezing it it's not the purse is like not folding like the quality is that great on this purse Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, y'all, we're back with another purse review. So today's purse that I'm gonna be showing y'all is the Marc Jacobs Snapshot Camera Bag. I actually got this purse back in May, but y'all, I'm just getting around to reviewing it. So this particular color is the Floral Peach Multi. And this was a bag that they came out with at the beginning of the summer. Well, this is a color that they came out with at the beginning of the summer so y'all already know i had to get the bag because it's pink what so i got this purse and um i remember at the time i got this purse i went out of town um that's when i went to charlotte i ended up buying uh the coach pillow madison 18 and i came back and i reviewed that purse in a hurry and i kind of forgot all about reviewing this purse so i'm doing that today y'all this is like a favorite one thing i love about the snapshot purses is how mark jacobs constantly brings this purse in different colors different styles um so it is definitely a favorite if you realize between the snapshot and the tote bag they're constantly always like changing the colors changing the style on them and i love that um so this purse retails for 350 right now this exact style you cannot get on the mark jacobs website at this time but neiman marcus has it and Saks has it so that's a plus so i am going to read the description of this bag and then i'm gonna just show you all the details and then we're gonna go over what fits so this bag is the mark jacobs the snapshot gradient leather camera bag of course like i mentioned this is in the floral peach multi so the product details mark jacobs snapshot camera bag is grafted of gradient leather highlighted with a polished double j logo this piece is accompanied by an adjustable crossbody strap um, so this purse has removable adjustable crossbody strap two zip closures gold tone hardware leather imported so one thing that i love about this purse um and all the snapshot bags y'all are the strap so of course the way mark jacobs makes their purses you can always change out straps they sell extra straps on their website but i feel like with this purse y'all like this was like one of the reasons why i got it I just love how this strap is. I honestly feel like it can take any outfit to the next level. I love this bag. Like the strap, like I said, you can have on the simplest outfit, put this bag on and it just takes it there. So that's one of the reasons why I got it. But we're gonna go ahead and go over the details of the purse. So looking at the purse, as it's mentioned in the description, it is the Double J logo in the front. Um, it also has Marc Jacobs right here on the zipper, if it'll focus. Um, so all the zippers have, it just says the Marc Jacobs, has the Marc Jacobs right here on the back of the strap. And it has the Marc Jacobs right here on the top of the bag. You can see. On the top of the bag it just says the mark jacobs and then one thing that i love about this purse y'all do y'all see how it it is sectioned off so when you open the front of the purse you have the inside right here and this is what it looks like and it's just really really like peach in the inside and then if you open oh it was already open <laughs> and if you open the back zipper you can see the back portion of the purse where it has an opening it also has a back little pouch and so once you zip both of those up you will see on the back of the purse it does have a little like pocket right here 
where you could slip something in there. And I know someone will probably ask, but this back pocket y'all would be like if you slipped a card there, um, you know, or something like that, your phone will not fit in that. I'm just gonna show you just in case someone asks, a phone will not fit in the back. Um, and then it's very like snug. But I love how this purse is sectioned off the way it is. Like how I showed you the front pocket and the back pocket because I do feel like, let's just say that you carry this purse and you're out like me. Um, at the end of the year, I'm going on a trip where it's gonna be a lot of walking. So this purse will be perfect because I can store my wallet and my phone in different parts of the purse to where let's say I'm opening my purse and I'm constantly getting my phone out but I don't need to constantly get my wallet out and so I can store my wallet in a different pouch to where my wallet doesn't have the opportunity to fall out of my purse by accident for your purse you can have like in high traffic area and a low traffic area things that you don't reach for that often in your purse versus things that you reach for a lot so I love that. Um, I love how small this purse is. Of course, this is a crossbody. So if you wear this, you will be hands free. Perfect for, you know, going to the park, going to just any city or anywhere where you're doing a, a lot of walking. Crossbody bags are so popular right now. I also love how this purse is very durable. It's very great quality, y'all. This is one of these bags when where there's nothing in it, it completely keeps its shape. It's that great of quality. It's not one of those purses to where when nothing's in it, it's gonna fold up or be flat. Like I currently have nothing in this bag and as you can see like, me squeezing it it's not the purse is like not folding like the quality is that great on this purse this purse I, like I said I've had it for like a few months I got it in May I've carried it a few times and it is held up quite great I also want to add that this purse comes with a dust bag for you to store your purse in so now that I showed you everything about the purse now we're gonna do a what fits I just put a few things in this purse I did kind of set it up the way I would carry it especially at the end of the year I'm taking a trip to the mountains and this purse would be perfect it's a lot of walking so this purse would just be excellent for me to travel with um so I set this purse up when you open the front pocket, I did just go ahead and stick my phone in there. And I put my phone in a pocket by itself just because that's probably how I would carry it. Once I put my phone in there, this is about with my phone right here, you just have a little bit of room. So I put my phone in the front pocket and then the back pocket of the purse is where I put the bulk of my items. So in the back, I do have my ponytail holder. I have my lip gloss. I have my chapstick. I have my card holder. I have my lotion my mirror and then my airpods so if you did see um a lot of things were able to get in there um this purse can carry more than you think you can probably get a single key in there but since the purse is as small as it is you probably could not stuff your keys if you have a lot on there so yeah, y'all, that is going to wrap up this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you love my purse videos, y'all, make sure you check out my purse unboxing slash what's in my bag playlist. I'm gonna have that link down in the description box below, y'all. Make sure you follow me on my social medias. Um, I have everything linked down, y'all. I'm just gonna keep all the content coming. So make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure that you have your post notifications turned on because I'm not quite committing to Vlogmas, but this December, we're gonna really turn up when it comes to content, y'all. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.